Welcome back, viewers. Syndrome here with Breaking the Stream Gaming. Today, I'll be continuing my playthrough of Age of Wonders Planetfall Galactic Empire mode. Now, it turns out that I had a snafu in the last couple of videos I recorded. Um, one of the viewers, uh, not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, Palatinat, or maybe it's Palatina T, not 100% sure on that, uh, pointed out that it looks like I lost a couple of turns in there. Um, turns out that there should have been a video between episodes 3 and 4 of uh, Hiteli Q here, and frankly, I'm, I'm not whole... I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Um, I I might have accidentally deleted the video, or I might have just uh, forgotten to hit record, but uh, turns out that, uh, yeah, an entire video was missed in there, so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, it, it, it wasn't a terribly uh, lively turn, if I recall correctly. I believe that uh, I took out a penguin hive in the force wall front, and then I think that a wandering penguin horde captured the glade of the decadent here for me. But um, that, that, that was about all that happened, if I recall correctly. But uh, apologies for losing that. I, I, I took a look back through my video archives and I, I just couldn't find the, um, the uh, video recording. I uh, tried to recover a deleted file, couldn't find it there either. So not sure what happened. But um, in any case, I'm just going to proceed onwards since uh, you know I've already posted some of these videos and I don't want to load a save that goes back a couple of turns. Uh, one other thing that I'm changing is I, I decided to get rid of the uh, the self portrait that I'd been including uh, down here. Um, it occurred to me that you know it's actually blocking some important information like the turn counter there. So uh, basically, if if I hadn't have had that up, I, I think that I would have caught the fact that there was a missing video in there and uh, not proceeded onwards. But, you know, since uh, since it doesn't really add anything except uh, letting you see my wonderful face, uh, I figured I'd just take that out going forward. So, anyway, I am going to jump back into it. Uh, just reached an important milestone. Uh, we finished producing the Advanced Military Engineering Guild in our... Um, capital colony so we are just about ready to begin production on our champions um the only two things that we're missing are stun module research which we're going to finish next turn and then did we did we get that this turn oh wait no that's uh military tech ah superb communion yeah we'll we'll start researching this as soon as we get those stun modules um that'll be nice to really get those champions coming out with a couple of extra ranks on them, which will beef them up a bit. I think it's 12 hit points for coming out at rank 3, or rank 2 rather. 16, so even better. Um, yeah, but uh, other than that, we're going to have one last turn here before we start mass production there, so let's see if there's anything important we need to build here. Um, yeah, don't really need either of those. Um, both of our Production and research sectors are capped out at level 5 already. Um, can build a botanical garden. I mean, happiness is always good, but, you know, I don't know. I think plus 33 a turn is plenty. Um, yeah, I think Cosmine Harvesting Center, that, that's kind of a no-brainer, right? So let's do that. And you know what? Let's actually go one further. Um... Ah, that's going to take half my energy, but I'm, I've got a pretty good income going. These guys are going to take 125 each. Eh. Well. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to fast produce that. Okay, so next turn we will produce the diplomatic analysis wing, which will give us an extra two influence a turn. And we'll have some leftover production. Uh, actually, quite a bit of it. 177. Uh, 177. Yeah, we, uh... We'll probably produce an Oathbound Champion next turn on the cheap. You know, I, I'll, I'll set that up next turn once I hit the stop module. Okay. Um, finished Anthropologic Research, so let's go ahead and choose something else. Uh, hmm... 
I mean, the obvious play is to go straight for Cosmic Mastery, right? But, uh... <clears throat> what else is there out there? Then energy development wouldn't be terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't believe we never got a co-op deployment, so I don't even have river crossing expertise. Hmm. Orbital relays could be good. But honestly, we're going to have a fast mobile army anyway, so I might just come back and get that along with advanced relay infrastructure. I don't have any cities that are near water, so don't really need hydro. Uh, what do we get out of Quantum Leap? Eh, that could be good, but, you know, I, I need more Doctrine slots. Um... You know what? I, I'm going to go for Operation Effectiveness 3, and then I'll switch over to heading straight for Cosmite. Uh, let's see here. We've got an anomalous site. All right, that's some good reason. Ooh, actually, is that going to give us stun modules this turn? You know, I think it is. Oh, so close. Oh, well, not, not the end of the world. Uh, looks like we decrypted another anomaly. Let's see, what is that? That's a large one. Okay, nice. Where is that hero at? Okay, let's uh, let's get her back into friendly territory. <coughs> you know, actually, I'm gonna send her up here so that she can uh, drop down a frontier base so that we can claim that cosmite before Kevil here grabs it. I should probably do that with this cosmite too. Hmm. We do have the uh, trade agreement with them. That means we can build on claimed sectors, so that's not going to cause us any uh, Cassis Belli issues. And let's see. I'm not really going to use this hero as a combat hero, although I suppose I could. Uh, first off, let's let's put them in a marquee. Why am I why am I walking on the ground like a peasant when I could be flying or floating anyway? Um, hmm. Don't have enough towns to benefit from any of the lords anymore. Uh, tch, 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 tch. I mean, nothing wrong with just more hit points. And that opens up the possibility of taking advanced piloting next turn, in case I do want to use her as a combat hero. Okay, what was I doing with these guys? I think I was going to claim this water-based Cosmite Rift. Yeah, let's go there. Ah, okay. Well, hmm. Yeah, I guess I won't be doing that. Is there any other... Man, this, uh, this universal camouflage is kind of annoying. Um, Let's see here. I will be claiming that sector eventually anyway, so since I'm here, I might as well send somebody to acquire that. Uh, oh, perfect. We can just make it to the uh, relay station. That never happens. It's always, you know, just one section short. Uh, okay, here. So let's see. This, I think... Yeah, we already have that one. So it looks like we have a we can claim the sector. Alright, now let's go ahead and do that. Ah, we haven't claimed that one yet. Shoot, I should have uh saved my influence for that, but oh well, I've got a scout in this stack that I probably not not gonna need for all that much longer. Okay, let's see. All set there. Anything I need to best produce? Well, let me build it here. Let's go ahead and build a research sector eventually. Uh, don't really need money. And Barrow Falls. Yeah, they don't appear to have anything we need to build, so let's go ahead with uh Let's see, what, what what am I doing in my food production center here? I think I'm sharing with my capital. Okay, should probably 
start taking in my smaller collies as well. Okay, that <laughs> didn't really take much, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'll go ahead and turn here. Okay, now that that uh, universal camouflage is gone, hmm. huh. well, maybe I should have actually taken some of the water ones. I didn't even think about that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'll go ahead and claim this with Istafel there and then build a residential sector on top of it. Uh, we've got stun modules, so let's go ahead and start research on Superb Communion. Let's see, the True Spires here has claimed our Cosmic Node. Uh, now, what do we want to build there? Let's see, we already have our two food production sites and one research place. Um, it sounds to me like we should probably make that a residential sector so that I can take additional sectors yeah let's do that and to just maximize what we're getting out of each of those oh wait oh that's a mountainous okay that that's a mountain terrain so we won't be able to um hmm. i mean it only has one chevron as a research but we don't really need production here uh, yeah, okay, oh, hmm. I mean, I'd rather claim one of these sectors as research, but... Well, I suppose that one of those is going to have to be a residential anyway, so... And that'll cap us out on the number of sectors, so... Okay, research it is, I guess. Eh, nah, forget that. We're going to make it energy. <laughs> Eventually. And let's actually move that to the front of the queue. Okay. Uh, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Unit with low morale. Who's that? Oh! That makes sense. Uh, let's see. She is not going to be able to build a forward base just yet, but I'll, uh, I'll be able to do that next, next turn. Uh, let's see, so that leaves our main stack. Uh, what do we have to do here? Who am I at war with? That's a that's a good question. Therians, we're at peace with the Psyfish and at peace with the Paragons. Do we have any quests? Nope. What are the Paragons up to? Let's, let's reach out to them and see if they'll give us anything. Nope. Five turns for that. That's going to take a long time for us to get up to uh, integration with them. Okay, let's get started on champion production. So I'm going to go ahead and manage our units here. And what are we going to give them? Uh, Self-repair systems, for sure. Uh, as well as beacons of hope. And then stun modules. So, what are they going to have here? They're going to have 12... Plus 10, so 22 regeneration each turn, as well as a full heal at the end of every strategic turn. Plus 3 shields, and then plus 30% damage on all abilities, as well as gaining stun on all of their attacks. Uh, since they only have non-repeating attacks, that's going to be an 8 strength chance. Uh, so that's, um, that's pretty darn good. On top of that, they're also going to get significant bonuses to armor, because they're being produced in our capital. Uh, not because it's our capital, but because of the buildings that we have constructed there. So let's go ahead and make these... Oh, I don't know. We'll call them... Demolishers. Alright. And let's see... 
Start production on the first of them. It's going to take, uh, what does it take? 52 Cosmite and 125 energy with a 244 production cost. So that's not bad. We're able to one turn these. Uh, you know, this guy, I'm just going to fast produce him just to uh, get him out. And let's take a look at stats on this guy now. So 11 armor, one shield. I'm not complaining about that. 29 damage on the Greatsword, and 21 AE damage on the Storm Discharge. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fine with that. I got no problem with that. So let's go ahead and merge that with our leader stack. You know, I, I think I'm going to go to war with the Psyfish. I think that uh, they've served their purpose, and now they're just going to become food for us. I don't recall if going to war with them is going to increase our affinity with the Paragon. I kind of don't think that it does, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, that's that's a fine stack. I've got no problem with that. Uh, let's see. You're going to stay there one more turn and then get back to the territory. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, completed the Technologist. Wonderful. Actually, the Technologist is a pretty underrated doctrine, if you ask me. I mean, those two extra attack points and the 15% reduction in energy cost can be quite nice. It just kind of doesn't compare to some of the other ones that I use. Um, I might actually want to... Oh, wait, no, that's influence, not, uh, not faction... Hmm. I wonder what I need to get the the one that I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the negotiator, I think. Let's see. No? I think there was one of these skills that allows for, like, double um, uh, faction rewards with the NPCs. Maybe not. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a faction-specific skill. So, in any case... Uh, let's see here. Bear Falls doesn't really need to be producing research, does it? Let's see. You know, I'm gonna take them down and instead go with just more energy. I think that's gonna be our sticking point going forward. Um, I'll leave the research there just so we can keep accruing that. Uh, we've got a couple of spawners out there that we still need to go back and clean up, but now that we're producing armies in our capital, that will rapidly come under control, I think. Okay, looks like we have a proposal from our friend to the east here, Nicole. What are they offering us? Hello, that's a lot of activities. Ethereans, they're coming for us. That's experience, you know? Oh, huh, wants to buy our uh, Cassus Belay. Um, yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Don't care about that, don't care about that. We've got another champion in our capital. Let's start production on the next one. And the next one after that. Um... Let's see. I think that if we do fast produce one of these, yeah, let's fast produce one of those. Sure. Okay. Now it's going to be two turns before we can build another one because we're short on Cosmite. But uh, you know, we have we're, we're starting in on our next stack there. So uh, actually, that's a good point. We have an attacking Therian army, so we should actually move them up. Let's, uh, you know, it's been a while. Let, let's get in here and do a, uh, a manual combat, I think. So we're, we're going to threaten to purge them. And let's do a manual. Okay. Been a while since I've done these, but uh, it's a very different experience with the champions here. Put that up to double speed. Okay, let's see here now. How far can we jump? Eh. 
that'll get us in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that works. And let's see, let's just go ahead and take a swing. Alright, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, next one up. Uh, not sure if I'll be able to get multiples, but uh, definitely be able to get in there. I triggered Overwatch, but uh, our precog dealt with that. And let's see. Let's uh, yeah, take another swing there. Now, in hindsight, I probably should have waited a turn and uh, used... I, I should have just waited a turn let them come a little bit closer so that I could do this better. But, uh, yeah, I was a little bit impatient. What's this? It's like Spark Droid. That might be useful, but it seems kind of unnecessary. I'm just going to jump in there. Okay, looks like that triggered some dimensional instability. What does that do? Okay, minus two to all resistances. So that's, that's pretty bad, but... Um, I mean, I'm not really concerned about anything here. Most of my heroes have uh, the Oathbound skill that allows them to go ahead and... Uh, what's it called? Um, shoot, what is it called? Uh, repair droids that allows them to recover their, uh, their damaged vehicle at the end of combat. So, I'm... I'm just not concerned. Yeah, nothing he can do, I don't think. Yep. And, yeah, this guy, we're just gonna walk him up. Well, maybe not walk, but fly. And this one... I don't know if there's anywhere I can go that I can get a shot off. Yeah, that's... That's fine. Alright, I'll end turn here. Let's see here. Let's start off with... Oh, what happened to him? Fascinated. Unable to use actions. That's terrifying. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we need to kill... Uh, I think that was the siren that did it. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, I mean, I think I'll be, I think, I think I'll be fine here. Let's, let's go ahead and just take a couple shots with that guy. Alright, I think that's everybody. Okay, good. I, I, I wasn't 100% sure that all of those mods stacked in terms of healing, and they definitely do, so that... Uh, that's a wonderful thing. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, just... Uh, is that a living unit? It looks like it is, but it doesn't appear to be. So let's just get in there and deal with the leader. Or not the leader, but the, uh, the siren. I mean, I should be moving into flank here, but uh, honestly, it, it really doesn't matter in this case. But I should develop good habits. All right. Easy enough. No damage taken. Got a rank up on one of our champions there, so that's good. Um, yeah, this next one is a weaker fight. I'm just going to auto-combat this one. Yep, as expected. 
Uh, let's see. Then I think I'm going to keep sweeping off to the west here. Although, you know, I think I'm going to leave Amarista the pilot behind. So that she can group up with these, those two. That way they, we have a decently effective stack over there. Uh, let's see, I said I was going to go straight for Cosmite, so let's do that. Oh, we need to build an exploit here. It's got to be residential. Um, I should build a research center, though. Um, at this point, let's do military. Always military, I think. Let's see. What can he take? Dimensional feedback is so good. Actually, a lot of these are so good. Jeez. Um... I mean, eventually he's going to be leading his own stack, so I will want Air Commander. I'll also want All Around Awareness, and Counterattack, and Dimensional Feedback, and Modular Extension. So I want all of this stuff. Shield Modulator. I, I need, like, another f five or six levels on this guy. Uh, priority, though, probably, probably getting Dimensional Feedback, so I'm just going to hold for now. Let's see, Amaris to here. She is now leading her own stack. Let's give her Air Commander. And what else can she get? Um, I think I'll just leave it at that for now so that she can pick up a uh, modular extension maybe next, next level up. Okay, let's go ahead and build a horde base there. And then she is going to get out of dodge. Oh god, I just moved her close to... An enemy stack. That's that's not ideal. Eh, that's what that's what dawn protocol is for, I suppose. Uh, what did we complete that gave me that? Conqueror, warminder. That's or the invader. Okay. The invader wouldn't be a bad doctrine. I do have another slot now, but um, nah, I think morale is probably fine. Instead of that, what can we do here? Duty of care. Okay, that'll give us 20% uh, extra influence. That could be nice. Uh, what else is out there? Preventative surveillance. Not bad. Diplomat. I don't really care. Emissary. Eh. Technologist would be good. Hmm. Yeah, let's take duty of care. I never take this, but given that we need to make integration with the Paragons... Every bit counts. Okay. Um, this guy, I'm not going to use a Paladin Aspirant. That's going to be a drain of four energy a turn. We'll deal with that. Message from the Kirko. We seem to be at good relations. Why don't we... Oh, I don't know. Let's do a temporary building on claim sectors. Sure. Okay, energy event, sector base, another message. Eh, I guess he doesn't like that we attacked the sidefish. Oh, we're, we're probably going to go to war with him because, over that, but oh well. Okay, let's see. Okay, um... Should be good. Okay, we're all set up in our production there, and there, and there. And Barrow Falls doesn't have anything to build, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and end turn now. Alright, let's see if uh, my hero gets killed here. Yep. Oh, no. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not concerned about that. That worked out wonderfully. Okay. Uh, so we built our Paladin Champion there. Oh, we do have enough Cosmite because of what we took last turn. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get another one of those built. Any buildings that we need. You know what, let's, let's go ahead and fast produce this one, and then we'll work on this Xeno Relations Division. 
And next turn, we'll have enough Cosmite to build another. Okay, so two more champions just came out. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll move both of them up, but then we'll send this one off to join with the leader stack here. We don't need to, but, I mean, experience is experience. Okay, let's get her back to... Where's that large anomalous site at? Three turns. Not too bad. All right, let's let's end this one. I should get up for and claim that archaic meadow. Hmm. Ah, and here's the Therian army. Excellent. Let's see, that's. It looks like it's 1600 power, so I'm not really terribly concerned about that. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, 2400 versus 17. Should be pretty easy. Yep. Alright. And. Excellent! Yes, we are getting Paragon Faction by being at war with the Ethereans, so that is wonderful. That is going to help us uh, deal with getting to integration level. Perfect. Uh, let's see, Twiggy the Pilot. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll gladly have him join, and looks like he is coming in at level 7, so we'll be able to immediately start him with Advanced Pilot. Okay, what else to build? Well, you know what? He's already in our capital, so I might as well just start him off as a leader candidate. So, Vitality 1, Air Commander, Attenuators are just too good not to, Field Repair Droid, too good not to. Um, And he is our... What's this called? Cyumbra Hero. Excuse me. Um, I, I find that the Cyumbra Hero works really well with champions. Just because his, hmm, excuse me, Sinister Chorus works by uh, adjacency. And since the champion likes to leap into combat, um, and that's a really sweet skill. Um, but is it good as a leader candidate? I mean, all around awareness. Hard to argue with that. But you know what? He's going to be a flyer, so flanking is, no, very nice to get there. Okay. Let's do that and that, and then I think we'll take Soulbreaker. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks good to me. Okay, we'll do that. We'll load him into a champion. Oh, that's right. We're not going to be able to actually um, start production on another one's turn because of that. But, uh, oh, man, I forgot about the Gluttony Ethos. Oh, I need to put that on my leader. Okay. Actually, let's, let's do that now so that I have to buy one less mod. Okay, so where is he at? Um, yeah, time for its data scrolls. You're gone. Glen Ethos is in. So that's going to be a nice little 20% uh, damage boost and lifesteal on his attacks. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm perfectly okay with that. Ah, okay, I listed here. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Looks like the leader leveled up here. Entropic Fusion. Infusion. So that's an extra damage on all attacks. Um, I, I, I can't say no to that, so I'm going to take that. I'll save the other three skill points so that next level I can finally get Modular Extension. Uh, man, I don't even have Close Quarters Specialist yet. Okay. So yeah, that... That was an extra 7 damage on all attacks, both his area and single target, so that's a huge bonus there. Let's see, Bail the pilot here. Um, dimensional feedback. Ah, or I can get modular extension. Dimensional feedback for now. Yeah, it's just too good not to. Let's see, Frankie Sparkfingers here. Um... 
I mean, not really seeing a ton that I want on him, so I'm thinking maybe I just... Well, okay, all-around awareness, definitely. But other than that... Yeah, I could save up for modular extension, but... Eh, screw it. We're going to give him close quarters combat, too. That'll work. Uh, secondary... No reason not to give him something. Watcher scrolls are pretty solid. Yeah, why not? Eh, because that's cosmic. That's why not. Oh well. Uh, nothing to move there. Let's go ahead and keep moving you over to there. Uh, this one. Where can we move these guys now? Um, you know, let's actually turn them around, and I'm gonna clear some nodes that have been lingering since the beginning of the game. No threat there, so that's an easy choice. Um, I wonder if they'll be able to clear out the terraforming outpost there. We'll find out next turn. Um, actually, no reason not to group them together, I suppose. Okay, don't have enough cosmic to do anything. Oh, and we're also completely out of energy. How'd that happen? I guess I was not being careful with what I was spending. So, there's no need for either of those. Botanical Garden, or do I make money? Um, yeah, money. Nothing but the Amazons, got complimented it sounds like, so... Yeah, we're, we're close with these guys it seems. <laughs> For now, until I start going to war with everybody. You're at the top now. I apparently have the top capability, it looks like. Um, I thought he didn't like us last turn. She. Okay, I think we're good here. Um, This is actually probably a good place to call this video, so... I will end this here, but uh, thanks for viewing, and apologies again about the missing video in the series. Uh, thanks again to Palatinat, Palatine, Palatina T, not sure about that, but uh, thanks for pointing that out. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out Dogbog's parallel video series in Age of Wonders. He is uh, running a more varied empire than I am. I'm really focusing on the Oathbound and Amazon. He's uh, kind of taking viewer suggestions on which factions to play so uh make sure you take a look at his videos and uh, drop some suggestions on what you'd like to see him do and yeah thanks again for viewing i'll see you next episode take care